Welcome to part 122 of the Hunter Baby Challenge. And in this episode, we're going to play in grayscale inverted. I did kind of put a warning to this that it might hurt your eyes if you stare too long. Well, not too bad. I mean, you probably have to blink a few times and look at the way from, from the screen a few times. But, everybody blinks. Yeah, everybody blinks. I mean, it's hard to stare at for so long because your eyes will water. Um, they will? Yeah, it feels like it. You have to no, adjust your eyes to this. No, if you, if you stare at something really bright, it makes your it eyes It is work. bright. How is it bright? It looks bright. Oh, my gosh. Um, that's something to be fun to do this. <laughs> that phone Gavin, age up and move out. Also, Zeb meets a new dude. Okay, cool. My foot's getting better. Well, I was stepped on a uh, glass last night. Now it's getting better, uh-huh. which is good. Because I went to the nurse and then she put special, like, peroxide on it, which I don't have. But we tried cleaning it up with water, water but with I can only do do so much. I have and Band-Aids. And and, I'm bleeding real fast. Yeah, you went through some Band-Aids, so. Yeah, and then, and then, um, and then, and then, because I had an adrenaline. Well, I did it. Yeah, adrenaline, yeah. And then when you put on the bandy, they really start to hurt. Yeah. And I thought there was a piece of glass still stuck in my foot. Well, are you going to blow out your candles or what? What? What does that mean? What is this? Oh, it's a ghost. Wesley's a ghost. He died, so he's a ghost. He gets taken away by the Grim Reaper. No, he, no, Wesley, he's already a ghost. That means he, he'll no longer be a ghost. I thought you were going to do some drawing. What? I thought you were going to do some drawing. You're... I don't know where my... I did see the pen over here. I don't know what happened to it. The bin was over here. Probably under this book. No, no. It was there, I swear. Probably in the grass. Yeah. So yeah, this is quite a task. I had this. This is the second time having to stare at this. So having to watch this video. I mean. First time I had to play this. The second time I have to record commentary for it. Uh, I usually don't like to record commentary when I do videos. I'm doing that with my uh, uh, Bit Life Controls My Sims. I'm doing that. But I can only do it so many times. It's hard to control my recording commentary and recording video at the same time. <laughs> you and that control remote controlled car. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's not remote controlled. Well it has a those See? wheels you See? has those wheels on it. <laughs> Uh, Did you find your marker? No. It was over here. I was no, 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 no. I don't know where you put it. This the last bit. This is the regular pen. That's what I saw it was on the floor. And I don't see it over here. Yeah, the floor was the last place I saw it. So Mrs. Van Alstyne gave it to me. I need it. Because that's the only one that she has. I don't know. So everybody's eating and 
having fun eat at a birthday party. In grayscale, scale. Oh my gosh, this is hard to watch. <laughs> so everybody be warned. If this is if this is hard on some people's eyes, you are warned in the description. Where it says the the name of the title is going to be called Grayscale Inverted. Okay, and that should be warning enough that if grace, if you can't, if your eyes can't focus well on grayscale, grayscale inverted mode, and if you, and then if you're you, warned by the title. If you, if you get injured with your eyes, it's not our problem. We don't get injured with our eyes. They're just gonna have a hard time focusing. Mm. It's like staring at the sun for. It's, trying, it's like trying to stare at the sun. But actually, you'll get blind if you do that. Yeah, but. It's not harmful as the it, sun. It looks, it looks like it's just have, so freak makes the screen so bright. It looks like you have pink hair. Yeah, I don't. I have red hair. It looks pink. I have red hair in that picture. Cause because I'm looking. That was. At, I I'm looking at when when mom and. When, ten and a half years ago. When, when you and dad got married. Yeah, it was ten and a half years and it, ago. And it's a paper holder. I found it in my room mm -hmm. when when we were trying to switch rooms. Yeah. I, I kind of like the fact that we changed rooms. I don't, really, don't know good. how long. I could have stayed in your, your room. I, I couldn't do that any longer. So moving in, my stuff into the living room. Worked out just well. Dad, Dad said I'm not allowed to touch it. Well, you're touching it anyways. What's the, what's the matter? You don't mean with the regular pen? What? My sleeves are gonna cover it. But I want that one because because the only thing good is about it is Mrs. Van thing gave it to me. It's fine. And I really like the one that I she don't know. Last place I seen it was on the floor here. And mm. It just looks like your legs walked off. Mm. It's nowhere. You must have came, in, came over here and picked it up. And don't remember where you put it. I'm just trying to see if it's underneath my computer. It's not. She'll go for her special marker, invisible marker. You could draw and it's invisible. I don't know if she draws on me with it. <laughs> I don't care. As long as it's not my face. But she could draw on me with it. I just don't care. Um, like, oh my gosh, she wanted to do video. I was like, I want to take a break from doing videos, but what the heck, you know? Let's just do this video. That's also a lot of. Let's just fix this dollhouse. Who broke it? This little kid broke the dollhouse and now he's crying. Are you serious? You broke. This little kid. Gavin. Is it Ireland? Ireland or Harmony? One of you broke the house and I, you're crying because it's broken? You are just a spoiled little kid, aren't you? Next time, don't break the freaking dollhouse. We wouldn't have any issues, now would we? That little kid broke the. That little toddler broke the dollhouse. And then now he's crying because it's broken. Awesome. Yeah. Dang kids, whatever. <laughs> so y'all think of this? Is it cool? <laughs> yeah, I think it's cool for one time thing. Oh my gosh, it's hard to. F I won't do this again. Unless I'm trying to do a build. But other than that. Nope. <laughs> Unless I'm doing a build, I'm not doing I'm not playing like this again and grayscale inverted. Oh please. Oh my gosh. 
The torture of that violin music. You were terrible. Feppo, you were terrible. <laughs> Oh, it probably sounds better when you fast forward. And Gavin, where's Gavin? That's Feppo. Okay, Gavin, you're supposed to be doing something. Working on a skill. So you're working on the piano. I like that piano better. It's place is big enough for our grand piano, but I like this keyboard. Are you not even done playing a skill, dude? You just got back up. Did I say you can... Did I say you were done? Did I say you were done? I didn't say you were done. Get back into playing that... Get back to the piano right now. You gotta get your skill up. And that's closer, so... Good. Gavin has reached level two of the piano skill. Yes. Just... We gotta level up one more time. Because you got to get a skill up before you can't age up and move out. Oh my gosh. The violin is just... Oh my gosh, the violin noise. Oh, see, see, Gavin's almost done. Look how quick Gavin got his skill up. That's impressive, Gavin. Now you can do your homework. You can do your freaking homework, dude. Good. On the other car. See? Good. You can, Gavin can do his homework. Put some stickers on it. Yeah. This one has an M. This does the same thing. See? Okay. Who's gonna win? There's more room on the floor. Who's gonna win? Red Racer did. I know, but these little cars, there's no room on my desk. You'll knock me over. I got an open can of pop over here. Put them on the floor. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna get to the who's gonna get to the first Now we're just waiting on you to finish so you can age up and move out. Red racer wins because because Good, now you can do your homework. Good, because that was terrible. Now, <laughs> do your freaking homework. My band keeps falling off. And change it. Okay, now you're all doing your homework. Yes, please do your freaking homework. I recorded three more episodes last night of the uh, Controls My Sims, so I'm up to episode 22. I swear I'm only aging, aging up Stan a year per episode. It feels that way anyway. So... Considering we're probably going to have 40 plus episodes <laughs> more. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm trying to age them up quick because there's no point in having this particular challenge be over 60, 70 episodes. There's no point. It shouldn't be that long. I don't know, Zoe. You had it last. Right there. Great. You broke the computer. Oh, wait. It looked like it broke for a moment. <laughs> Who's going to win, Mom? Red Racer or McDonald's? Which one's going to win? 
Dad, I don't know, Zoe. The red, racer. the red one? The red one? The red car? It's Red Racer. Red Racer? And the one with the M on it is McDonald's. Well, the Red Racer is gonna win. Yep. Because it's faster. <laughs> McDonald's is right here. McDonald's. It has an M on it. That's why it's called McDonald's. Oh. That's, that's, Who's going to win, Mom? Battle, that's right. Um, a battle. That's when a prince and his men attack Garden, kidnap Zev, and then Stan and Kai manage to get a balloon. And Prince just thinks they're dead for a few minutes because they they booby trap a moth, ready to explode, and they thought Stan and Kai were in there, which they weren't. They, they got they hopped out of the moth and got got a balloon. And of course, why are you smelling? You like the smell of burnt electronics or something? My gosh, you break the computer. That's typical of you. So it's just a battle between Prince and his men plus Kai and Stan again. I mean, just to try and rescue Zev. It's like he's in a battle. And, and, and Kai's like, agrees to it because... You know, Prince is bound to make a mistake, and he, which he does. And Kai ends up and end up rescuing Zev. I looked, one time I looked on my computer. And what? And I saw that episode. Because I looked up Lex, and then I saw all these different episodes. Yeah. And then I and then I saw that episode. Battle. Uh huh. And watch. Mhm. The whole time when Zev's in the balloon with Prince, Prince is trying to convince Zev to be on his side, which she doesn't cave in. She just, she she knows Prince is up to no good. She's like, no, I'm not gonna side with you ever. And he tends to throw her over to the side, but attaches a rope to her. But then, and he's like, and he calls out to Kai and Stan, like, you got 10 seconds to make a decision. Either Kai jumps off to the side, or, or he's got Priest with him, too. And he says, or Priest will cut the cord, and Zev will sink into the sea, sink into the ocean. And then uh, what, what what happens if Priest does cut cut the rope, after, when, and Kai dives in. Off the edge of the gondola, but he's hook, he temp, but he's hook, holding on to the bottom of, to the gondola with his brace, yeah, and he rescues and, Zev. And, it, and that was kind of hard. And priest is, Prince is looking over at Priest like you made a mistake. How? It, why was it a mistake? Because your Prince was trying to trick Kai, and it wasn't. It wasn't supposed to rescue Zev, but it happened that way. So, so at the end, uh, Kai and Stan manages to grab onto another balloon because all the other balloonists had shot arrows and had punctured their own balloon, so they had to get another balloon, land on Prince's balloon. And by then, uh, Priest had uh, shot, uh, Priest had shot Prince with a, no, she, he stabbed Prince <laughs> with, a, with a dagger. <laughs> and, then Priest, and then Prince, at his dying breath, shoots Priest with an arrow. <laughs> and then they, and then they, because they suspended the balloon from the gondola, 
and then they both fall into the ocean, dead. And then so this left is a balloon rising to the rising. Which planet uh, was it? Planet water. Uh. I forgot. So Stan and and Kai are on on this princess balloon. I found my before they can grab Zev, the, the balloon spirals out of control and lands on planet fire. But they go after her, but they go after her in the moth. They were close enough to the surf, to the Lex that they could just go to Lex, get a moth, and they can look for her that way on planet fire. But on planet fire, Zev ends up running to uh, Prince, who's been reincarnated. She's like, why is it? She's wondering why she want why why Prince is there. She's like, well, he's like, I died. He's like, well, you don't look dead. <laughs> so if you were dead, you'd be rotting. Yeah, but here's the thing: Prince can uh, die and come back. He's pretty much immortal. Um, Just like Kai. Kai is dead. He's not technically immortal. Um, I found my marker. Well, that's good. Now I can draw on you. Okay. I'm gonna draw on your neck. Or your shoulder or something. So, Zev makes a bet with Prince that that she would not last the heat on planet fire walking through the desert with Prince. She... So, Zev is doing okay. And Prince, is, like an hour later, Prince is dying in the heat. It's because she's part closer there, she can part of her can stand the heat and he can't. You think if he was from Planet Fire, after all the times he's died on it and come back, he'd be used to the planet's heat by now. But no. You think part of him would develop an immunity for his planet since How? fire is his planet. How? How? You think he'd be used to the is heat, it, but he isn't. Is that Zev is mostly human, so she might... Well, her cluster lizard DNA, since cluster lizards are from a hot planet, they can, or part of her DNA can, that, she can stay in the heat. But Prince can't for some reason, so, and, and that's weird because he is from that planet. He's from planet fire. How come he's not used to the heat? Doesn't make any sense. You think that's, if that's his planet, he'd be used to the heat. I know. How, but can Zev, um, can Zev stop being, like, half-closer No. That's just a part of her. She just, that's with her for life. But why can't she get out of it? She can't. Why can't she take out the DNA? She can't. Why? It's, it's like if she was born with it or something. First yeah, it was her, uh, closer to the lizard's DNA got fused with her own. But, but when she got if, turned, she, if somebody tried she, to when, take when she, blood from her, like if she if she got cut and you take blood from her, doesn't mean she's free of being a closer lizard. But but that's not what I'm saying. In the first episode, she turned into it, but but how did it get mixed in? How did it get mixed in? But and how did it like get mixed in for some reason? Uh, Close was it happened to, to uh, try to attack attack Zeb while she's being transformed into a love slave, and that fuses her DNA with the cluster lizard. But how did it? It like, just did. When she was. She, uh, when it says body was being transformed, the close lizards jumped in there and like, got fused with her. Like, let's be friends. <laughs> no, more like close tried to eat her, and then his head got stuck in the, in the transformation device, and, and his head came off. So, it's part, so part of the close lizard ends up being transformed into she, so their DNA combined. No, I, I think of it as a different way. My story is that Cluster Lizard wanted to be friends with her. And no, Cluster Lizard was going to eat her. It's my story. I, I, I wanted to make up like a fun kid story about okay. it. Okay. The kid's side of Lex. Okay. 
in the first episode, a cluster was a want to be friends with Zev, and then they just got mixed in together like, let's be friends, Zev. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's be friends. And then rest in peace, Clutter Wizard. Mm. Yeah. And then and then like they're friends forever now. <laughs> okay. They're friends forever because they're stuck together. Okay. So so. But when they get mad, because when they get when she gets mad because something happened or something, well, then her friend comes in. And then destroys them, like, and then, and then, 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 because because the, because when they got mad, when they, when they, when she got mad, she turned into a collector with it because that's her, oh, that's her friend, okay. best friend forever, okay. and then, and then, and then Zev, and then Zev, Forces that that person to be their friend. Okay. <laughs> and then and then they just they they and all and that person is their friend now. <laughs> That's a kid's thingy. Mhm. Mm That's a kid's story. Okay. Yeah. So if people if kids see if if kids are watching this right now, do not listen to mom's story. Listen to mine. They want to be friends forever. <laughs> okay. And it, and Zev gets mad every time her other friend comes in and forces them to be their friend. Oh, okay. That. Oh, of course. Happy New Year. What was the machine turning into? What was she supposed to turn into? A love slave. What's a love slave? A woman who's, uh, who's it, it makes you lose weight pretty fast, let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think cluster lizards can be your friends. No. They can be friends with other cluster lizards. Why can't they be friends with other people? Why can't the cluster lizards just eat healthy things like broccoli? They don't. They're carnivores. Why can't they just eat broccoli? They can't. They're carnivores. They eat people. Eat. They eat living things. Fish, fish has flesh. Everything. An animal has flesh. Why yeah. Can't it's, if, if that was available, sure. Or, or you can just have a rat in front of you like, oh. Oh, you're supposed to win. Oh, I'm going to run away. Mm. Oh, and then, when she gets super duper mad, like extremely mad, she turned into a... But when she gets mad, my bad. Uh, when she gets, when Zeb gets aggressive, she turns into a class lizard. But the head got stuck only. What, her whole body turns into one? It's part of the DNA of the cluster lizard. Not just the head, it's the whole DNA. That's still on me. Like, let's be friends. Probably all the cluster lizards are, just want to be friends. Okay. Like, oh, hi, how are you? I mean, let's be friends. Like, like, yeah, if you see the actual episode. If you actually see Cluster Wizards eat people, that's probably disgusting. Mm. Yeah, and the lights, you, you, you kind of do. There was a movie about it, and then I watched it. It was dang scary. Because that's when I was scared of things. Like, now I'm not. The only thing I'm scared of heights and bugs. Those okay. Are two things, there's not a lot. Heights, not anymore. <laughs> okay, now we got pictures with them. You can hang them up on the wall. And they can move out. My favorite part about. 
My favorite part about Lex is chicken nuggets. <laughs> Those are chicken nuggets. <laughs> I like chicken nuggets. Yeah. I, and, no, actually, my favorite part about Lex is when, when, uh, uh, 790 insults people. Yeah, that is funny. Like 790 when he insults when he insults Stan. That's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. 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 Let's uh, <laughs> I can roast them back. Sure, try. The uh, 790 knows how to roast. Well, here's a roast. Yeah. Mm. I can roast you, and then... Uh, I gotta think about this roast first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, I can't believe that, uh... Twisty is an elder. Oh my gosh, he's old. This might be the last time we see him. Oh my gosh. He's an elder. He is getting, he is old. This might be the last time we see, we see Twisty. We gotta hang out with Twisty as much as we can. And find him to a bunch of parties because he's old. Is 790 blue because in the picture he's, he's like a grayish blue? I was about to ro I I was about to say you look like a blueberry. Mm. He's like a grayish blue. I who's in that picture he mostly looks blue. Oh, he's like a grayish blue. He it looks like that they just had a uh, a robot head. Yeah. And then they just put, and then they just put um, human eyes and mouth on it. Like they edited it. Yeah. And then they just put human eyes and mouth on it. Huh? And just invited a person to be that seven ninety. Yes. The person who knows roasts a lot. Yes. There's actually a guy. Who knows roasts? That voice seven ninety. Anyways, uh, we are coming to the end of this episode, so stay tuned for part 123 and some more BitLife Controls My Sim episodes and Super Sim videos.